Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll check the view first because it is a gorgeous one out there this evening with just some high clouds coming on through, scattering a little bit of light, making for a fantastic sunset. And it is still mild out there with mostly 60s. Of course, earlier today, we had record-breaking warmth. Santa Cruz breaking a record there at 79, some low 80s in Felton and Scotts Valley. The offshore winds, very dry, low humidities, upper 70s, Watsonville, low to mid 70s everywhere else. We had a, another record here in Salinas at 82, also 82 at King City, but that's not a record as they were a little bit warmer previously on this date, and a record in Monterey also at 82, 81 in Seaside, 82 Salinas, 84 Carmel Valley. So these temperatures 20 degrees above average for this time of year. And of course, it came with mostly sunny skies. There were those high clouds you saw on the sky cam right there. And you kind of see that direction, right? They're actually moving off the coast. So there's your offshore flow. You can see which way the wind is blowing. And it's been blowing like that for the last 24 to 48 hours. It's going to continue to do that for another couple of days. And there's not much of anything off the coast in terms of low clouds or high clouds. So we're going to stay clear for a while. The storm track is way out here. It's going all the way up even past British Columbia and then down the backside of that high pressure ridge, which basically means just a little bit of moisture out towards Billings, Montana, and maybe Colorado gets a, an inch of snow. So most of the West has been high and dry for a while. You can see that surge of dry air and the offshore flow and the water vapor imagery. So everything moving off the coast right now, and that is yielding again those very warm temperatures and low relative humidities, which means the fire danger is going up even though we're in the middle of winter. Futurecast shows that big ridge right here. That's where all the warm air is, and that'll stay over us tomorrow. So tomorrow will be just as warm, maybe even a little bit warmer. As we head into Friday and Saturday, you can kind of see the ridge flattens out maybe a little bit and moves a little bit. So these are minor changes, but you don't need a big change to get the onshore breeze, and that could make a big difference along the coast over the weekend. But for tomorrow, it is an offshore wind with high pressure to our north and to our east, so we'll continue with very warm weather. As we go into Friday, more or less the same, but you can start to see maybe a slight wind shift maybe to the north-northwest and some low clouds off the coast. We'll be watching those. And even into the weekend, again, we'll see slight changes, but it still looks pretty warm, certainly Friday and probably into Saturday, although there'll be some cooling over the weekend. Temperatures tomorrow, middle and upper 70s. Warmest stuff is going to be right along the coast. Again, look at L.A., 89, only a forecast of 84 for Palm Springs. So that certainly tells you where the air mass is descending down towards the coast. Low 50s in Tahoe, 74 Vegas, 85 in San Diego. We'll see some 80s locally as well. Now we'll take a look at precipitation outlook. This goes out 8 to 14 days, and you're trying to make sense of this map. I know it's a tricky one. We don't show it that often. But when you see these darker colors here, the beiges, that is a below average chance. And you can look up here and kind of line up the color. So we're in the below average chance. Of course, we've been there for quite a while. We'll continue in that zone for about another week or 10 days. Then that will start to change. And it actually, I'm already seeing some changes in this map. It's starting to, to shrink, and the colors are changing, meaning we're starting to progress towards a different pattern. But again, that's still 10 to 14 days out. So there is some rain potentially out there in the future, but that's towards the end of the month and then into the first week of March. So hopefully we are not done, certainly with our rainy season. 39 to 55, that's a big range of temperatures overnight, of course, because of the offshore flow. So it'll be different in different areas. Basically upper 30s to low 40s for the valleys and middle and upper 40s at the coast where it is warmest. 74 to 85 tomorrow. We'll probably crack a few more records. And here's what we're expecting. 77 or so from San Francisco to Oakland. 78 in San Jose, Santa Cruz Mountains, middle to upper 70s to low 80s, Felton, Scotts Valley, 79 in Capitola, Aptos, 77, a mix of upper 70s to middle 80s, Coralitas, 85, 79 in Gilroy, 78, Hollister, 80, San Juan, Batista, Moss Landing, 79. So if you're heading to the beach, put the sunscreen on, grab the hat, and enjoy it. 82, Salinas, 84, Gonzales, 83, King City, and upper 70s to low to mid 80s along the peninsula. So you want a good golf weather, you got it. Light winds, all sunshine, enjoy that. The eight-day forecast looking real nice into the weekend. We will start that cooling trend on Saturday into Sunday. Much cooler next week with middle 50s to middle 60s, but uh, not much in the way of rain chances just yet. And lows will mostly be in the 40s and low to mid 50s. But the good news is, well, a couple things I wanted to mention. One is extra careful vigilance with any fires or any burns, even though you have a permit. Yeah. We saw that in Big Sur. They had a permit. It still got out of control. We don't have big winds. Right. But we do have dry fuels for this time of year, so just yeah. take that uh, in, 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 into perspective. 
and the long range is looking better. I'm liking what I'm seeing a couple of weeks out for a good chance. The other thing is that the, the morning dew we usually get uh, isn't what it is. There's it. no humidity. Yeah, <laughs> that, right. That's the overnight, what we call the overnight yeah, recoveries sure. in the humidity, which we're just not getting because, as you said, there's almost no moisture in the air. Sure. Yeah. Well, okay. Anyways. Let's do it. Yeah. So, so where are we uh, for most of our reporting stations with the lack of recent rainfall? Are we still above average in a lot of cases? Yes. Are we? Yeah, we are. Places like San Francisco, Sacramento, Blue Canyon up in the Sierra. Now, there are some places that are below average, right. and we're trending that way locally. But overall, it's not as bad as you might think because of the, you know, the big rains we had we in had December. Good, yeah. We certainly want to get back to something like that in March. Okay. That would be great. Yeah. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Lee.